One late afternoon, in the early days of fall, Lady Donella Hornwood was traveling home after attending the harvest feast at Winterfell when she was seized by the bastard of Bolton, Ramsay Snow. It was a moment the widow Hornwood had feared would soon come. She expressed her fears to Winterfell's ruling council. Ever since the deaths of her lord husband and son, the bastard had been eyeing her lands hungrily. Ramsay had even begun massing men at the Dreadfort, the sinister seat of House Bolton. When Lady Hornwood sent letters inquiring to his intent, the bastard replied harshly, quote, no Bolton would be questioned by a woman. Winterfell's council was led by the castle's castellan, Sir Roderick Cassell. After hearing Lady Hornwood's reports, he said this, quote, He may look, but should he do more, I promise you, there will be dire retribution. You will be safe enough, my lady. Had Winterfell's council taken her concerns more seriously, perhaps Lady Hornwood would still be alive today. The Lady of Hornwood needed protection, not promises. Prince Brandon Stark, young as he was, saw that as well. He wanted to offer her as many men as possible. Not guarding Lady Hornwood more closely would be the first mistake that led to the tragedy. The second mistake was not addressing the growing threat lurking at the Dreadfort. Little and less was known about the Bastard of Bolton at the time. It was said he was a sly and cruel man emerging only after the death of Roose Bolton's true-born son, Domeric, a promising young lad who died under mysterious circumstances. Another key detail about Ramsay is that he was known to keep a companion, a disgusting creature known only as Reek. Ramsay and Reek were rumored to enjoy hunting, though not for deer. It is implied they preferred a more dangerous game. These rumors were brought before Winterfell's council as well, but nothing was done in response. No investigation to determine if these rumors were true. Ramsay and Reek were not ordered to come to Winterfell to be questioned about these alleged crimes. Even in the midst of the War of the Five Kings, protecting the people of the North is the priority of those who rule it. During the Harvest Feast, young Prince Brandon Stark sent Lady Hornwood a choice dish to brighten her mood. Sir Roderick offered to dance with her, but she declined. The sad and forlorn Lady Hornwood departed for her own castle not long after the festivities. No one at Winterfell would ever see her alive again. In the reports that would later reach Winterfell, it is said that Ramsay Snow fell upon Lady Donella's company as she made her way back to the Hornwood. He forced her to perform northern wedding rites. Then he assaulted her so that he could claim the marriage was consummated. When it was all done, he shut her in a tower room. Now in possession of her lands and titles, Ramsay had no further need of her. Once her plight became known, Winterfell responded in earnest. Ramsay and his companion Reek were tracked down where they were caught committing yet another heinous crime, this time assaulting a peasant woman and violating her corpse. The bastard of Bolton was slain in the encounter, his accomplice Reek captured as a prisoner, or so it was believed. Sir Roderick led men to the Hornwood for the rescue, but it was far too late. It was Sir Roderick who smashed down the door to her cell to free her, only to be met with the sight of her bloody remains. Her need for food had grown so desperate it was said her mouth was left bloody by her attempts to eat her own fingers. That's just one theory about what happened in that lonely tower cell, however. We find out in A Dance with the Dragons that as part of Theon's torture, Ramsay flays the skin off the tips of his fingers. The raw, exposed flesh leaves him in intense agony. When the pain becomes too unbearable, Theon begs for the finger to be cut off. Perhaps Lady Hornwood was tortured in the same manner, but no matter how much she suffered and screamed, the bastard would not remove her fingers, and so, she attempted to gnaw them off herself. Reek was taken captive and imprisoned at Winterfell. This would be yet another mistake, mercy given to one that did not deserve it. By rights, Reek should have been executed. Sir Roderick and the council were told by Lady Hornwood that Ramsay and Reek had killed before. They were caught in the middle of an assault and murder of another woman. Sir Roderick had all he needed to commend this man called Reek 
to death, Sir Roderick would keep Reek alive so that Reek could confess the enormity of his crimes to the king in the north, Rob Stark. A direct confession to the king was not necessary. Reek could have made his confessions to Sir Roderick. Sir Roderick could have shared this information with the king. Sir Roderick thought Reek was a low-born servant. If he could kill Roos Bolton's bastard with no qualms, he could have killed the bastard's servant just as easily. The horrible fate of Lady Hornwood could have been prevented had Winterfell's council taken her concerns more seriously. Had they taken action against the bastard in the beginning, this would not be the first time, nor would it be the last, that Winterfell would fail to protect its people from the death next door.